Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. R.I.P. Tupac Shakur. Thug life. He's a thug, man. He represented the thug life. And that's what these brothers right here are doing the same thing, man. Who I'm finna talk about. I say this thug life with these dudes right here, man. Check this out, man. These are thugs to me. Look at these thugs. Look at this. And McDermott, hockey game. The Get in the game. The hockey throw the puck down. What they do? They throw the puck down. I mean, they stick down. What they do? Automatically. Stop. Get in the game. Big old block. Man, that's what I'm talking about, outside. man. Thugs. These dudes are thugs, man. Look at this. These are steel shots from these thugs. That's what we're going to call them, man. We're going to call them thugs. Look at them. They smiling, cheering. Woohoo! Ashton Kutcher looking ass nigga. Look at him. Thugs. I say they thugs because that's what they would have called black people if they were seeing them doing this. Um, these are the New York Rangers and the New Jersey Devils, I guess. They rivals or something. I don't know how it went down. I'm just saying I keep calling them thugs because that's what they would have said if there was a black people doing the same exact thing. You understand? Um, when black people fight in the, um, we call them, in football, basketball, look at these thugs, look at these thugs. That's what they call them. They call them thugs when they doing stuff, man. And that's what, I'm sorry. That's exactly what these brothers right here were doing. I ain't gonna call them brothers, but you know what I mean. Look at this, man. Everybody out there fighting. Everybody. The whole team, eight players were suspended or put in the penalty box or something like that. I don't know the details, man. I just know this dude right here is cheering for him while he's doing his commentary. The next day, I think he on FSN, Fox Sports, something, something to something to something. I don't know. But look at this. He get the clap. He get to clap for this. Hockey, they, poli they police themselves. Um, that's, that's, that's not a, sp um, a sport for the faint of heart, you know? That's a man sport. So they, they, if somebody do some shit, they're going to come back and retaliate. That's cool. I'm all with it, man. Um, I'm from Detroit. I know all about hockey town. You know, when the Red Wings is doing their thing, I didn't go to the, none of the games, but I went to the parades because it was a party. The niggas love the party. I, I went to the party. Cool. All that. But I'm saying, I'm calling these dudes thugs. Because that's exactly what they would have called us, man. <clears throat> if this would have happened inside of a black sport or I ain't going to say black sport because Sports are universal. Everybody can play everything, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm saying, <clears throat> in the football game, if... I'm talking about two seconds went off the clock, man. Two seconds. That's it. I looked at the fight. I'm looking at the shit like, goddamn, look at this. 1958. It's 20 minutes in a period <clears throat> in hockey. Two seconds off the clock. I'm talking about soon they drop the puck. They, they ain't even try to... Win the toss up or play. I don't know what you call it. The puck off, whatever. I ain't no hockey guy. They ain't do that. They just threw their gloves down and went to it. You can't. I mean, come on, man. They did it. They getting applauded for it. They getting cheered for it. Um, that's why I gotta call them thugs, man. Because contact sport like football, they sit out there do stuff. They fighting with each other all day. Then they start fighting. Next thing you know, look at these thugs on the field. Look at these thugs. Look at these thugs. Basketball court. They got they get into a fight. Look at them thugs. Look at them thugs. But on the other hand, look, this dude right here, he cheering for him. He clapping. Woo! Look at that. That's my boy. That's my boy. New York Rams. That's all I wore my New York hat. My stanky Yankee. You had to find me a big ass New York hat. That's what you do on New York stores. You gotta put a New York hat on. What's up, son? What's up, B? What's up, fam? I guess that's how they talk, man. I ain't from New York. But you understand what I'm saying, though, man. I'm not sitting there calling these dudes thugs because they, they ain't living the thug life like that, you know? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I'm just saying, it's, it's a double standard, man. I want to... I just want to call them thugs the way white people call black people thugs when they doing out-of-pocket shit. And that's exactly what this is. It's out-of-pocket. Um, Like I said, this is the sport where they police themselves and they handle their own business. Um, it's not right because if it was right, they wouldn't got put in the penalty box afterwards. Eight players, um, they wouldn't got in trouble for it. They calling it the brawl. So if it was all right and it was able, if you was liable to do this, nobody wouldn't got in trouble. <clears throat> this is a bad thing. It's a great thing for the sports world, the hockey world, because I'm talking about it. I don't talk about hockey. Not at all. But I seen this. I said, oh. 
And I seen dude clapping, cheering, having a good old time. I'm like, oh. Man, let Michael Irvin get up there and say something. Well, that's a bad place. He's a legend. He's a sniffer. Uh -huh. Let's say Shaq, Kenny, and Chuck, and they see somebody fighting, and they start clapping. He spoke. Well, they do do that. They do be saying stuff like that, but they don't, they don't be glorifying it like this. That's exactly what they doing. They glorifying this fight. I'm talking about, bro, they literally started the game, dropped the puck, took their gloves off, and start fighting, man. I'm talking about everybody. Look at this. They threw the sticks down and started fighting. Ain't nobody dirty about it. They ain't hit nobody with a stick, so congratulations. A big shout out to them for not being dirty. But like I said, they police themselves, and that's what happened. <clears throat> Thugs. Filthy, downright, despicable thugs. They, um, if was children there, was, so oh, yeah, let's, let's speak on that now. How were the children feeling about this? I know children were in attendance to this, um, this event. So, do, do y'all condone that? The parents, do y'all can like, is y'all gonna boycott? Y'all gonna say some shit? Y'all gonna do something? Come on, man. Let's play devil's advocate. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to say, hey, look, let it be us. They got the skin to win, the complexion for the connection. You understand what I'm saying? That's why this is not a big story. Well, it's a story, but they start, like, man, you can't do that on, on tip-off. All right? Throw the ball up. They just square up. Like, come on, man. Hey. We definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm a thug and all this stuff. Well, that's what you call me behind my back anyway. Thug. You're a thug. That's, 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 that, that's that word they use, boy. When they, um, I keep saying they and them. <laughs> I'm sorry. But y'all know what I'm saying, though. That's what, that's what they say. They call us thugs when we do shit like this. And y'all not calling them thugs. Low life thug. I just keep. I love saying that. Low life thug. R.I.P. Tupac, man. Like I said. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. I let your boy Heist Man the folk. Tell me what you feel about this. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pippin' that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and I let your thug, Heist Man the folk. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. Thugs!